Hello everyone, and today I will show you how to update your Arduino IDE from version 106 to the last version, 169. Why I did that? Uh, because I wanted to download something for Unity, like a plugin uh, that required to compile something and it didn't work. So I was like, oh, but why? Come on, I didn't change anything. And those guys probably knew what they do. They released that. So... Uh, and the, the, the error was specific. It was something about a boolean that cannot be overloaded. So I figured out that maybe it could help to have the latest version. And here I show you immediately the result before we go step by step. Uh, I take the exact same sketch. I press uh, verify and as you can see it compiles uh, properly. So it's the really really the exact same file so why is it important um, to update because when you're starting with, with Arduino uh, you may have headaches <laughs> because downloading things and uh, making sketches and the sketches doesn't work so spare you some headaches and download the latest version so the 169 at the moment I make this video so Let's go step by steps. So I took the Windows installer for the Arduino.cc website. Here you don't have to contribute, that would be nice, but you can just press just download. Then you download. For this video, I speeded up all downloads, of course, um, to not bother you with that. So run. And now I need to explain you something because I struggled a bit. Basically, what would be nice to do yeah, this is this error. Um, it would be nice to uninstall first your version 106. Don't don't be too scared to do that. Uh, trying to install the newest one, I had those warnings, but I, s I pressed OK. Um, and the second very important thing I need to tell you now is you should maybe better like uninstall first 106 and then install the latest version of Java. Uh, I will explain you why right now. Uh, here you can see me trying to install this version directly without uninstalling Java and you will see in a few seconds uh, what errors uh, appeared. It will be there I guess. Yeah, this error. So at this moment I didn't knew if it's a problem of the installer or I didn't have Java. But the answer to this was to install Java. So if you have the latest version of Java on your Latte Panda, uh, you can just skip to the next part of the video. If you are unsure if you have it or not, there is a utility on the website. You can verify your Java version here. You see that they were unable to verify. It means that I didn't have it installed. Uh, I had to do it with um, Thunderbird because it didn't work with Internet Explorer. I don't know why. So anyway, um if you don't if you have an um, older version you can still use the java uninstall tool to install the newest one but if you try to use this tool as in my case here you see that java is disabled or not installed all right so we're back and now you can see me installing this version um, and it's really necessary during the install that you see the message uh, that will appear in here in the video because obviously once again I had some little problems uh, I don't know why it was because I was trying to execute this very pop-up inside uh, Internet Explorer but it didn't work it just reached zero seconds and then after waiting we need to be patient here there is a uh, another screen yeah this one that appears and uh, unfortunately using internet explorer this screen never appeared so i was kind of confused so then you have a second sequence that i speeded up here and once this is done uh here i don't know why again it's our beloved internet explorer that opens somehow and uh, confirms that uh, Java is installed. So yeah, two browser in the same time, but the one that takes the lead somehow is Internet Explorer. I didn't knew what to do with this plugin, but I just closed. And at this moment, everything seems to be uh, ready and prepared. We can 
go back on the website and verify uh, if Java is installed. This gray box sounds nice. This loading and this pop-up confirms that everything is fine with the Java installation. And the website confirms to us this install. So it's better to reboot. And once you're back, uh, you can install finally the Arduino 169 IDE. And this time, not like previously, not like in the beginning of the video, uh, there is no more error during the install. And I speed it up again, this installation. And now I will execute again this exact same sketch. So we are back like in the beginning of the video, but I will just show you uh, the process. So first you need to accept um, th this firewall um, pop-up for Windows. So once you allow the access, you're ready to go. And as you already saw in the video, now the sketch is working. So it was just a video to help those who are starting with the Arduino. I really recommend you to switch as soon as possible to the latest version because it will avoid you really a lot of headaches and not understanding why your sketches doesn't work. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you later for more tutorials about the Latte Panda and the IDE.